This is a wonderful story about how kindness and friendship can help lift our spirits. It's titled, Maybe Tomorrow. It's written by Charlotte Agel and beautifully illustrated by Anna Ramirez Gonzalez. Maybe Tomorrow. Elba had a big block. She'd been dragging it around for a long time. It made her walk slowly. It made her think darkly. It was heavy. Norris danced everywhere he went, even uphill. One day, Elba was sitting on her block in the park like she usually did. Along came Norris in a cloud of butterflies. At first, Elba couldn't see him in all that shininess. Hello, I'm Norris, he said. Do you want to go on a picnic? Um, Elba, said Elba. I do not go on picnics. Well, what do you want to do? asked Norris. Sit here with my block. Oh, but you're already doing that. I know. Is it fun? Not really, no. What's in it? Norris wanted to know. In it? said Elva. What do you mean? Well, it's a box, isn't it? Something must be inside it. It's not a box. It's a block, said Elba. Are you sure? asked Norris. Yes, said Elba, prodding it with her umbrella. She always carried one, in case it rained. Norris sat down next to Elba. I feel something in there, he said. What? asked Elba who didn't feel a thing. Uh, something sad, said Norris. I think it wants to come out. How, whispered Elba. Norris and Elba sat there thinking. The butterflies flitted this way and that. Mm, maybe tomorrow, said Norris as the sun set. Maybe, said Elba. The next day, it was raining. The butterflies looked a little damp. The weather didn't slow down Norris, though. You're making me dizzy, said Elba. It's time for tea, said Norris. They had good, quiet tea with rain in it. Maybe tomorrow, said Norris. Maybe, said Elba if tomorrow ever comes. Tomorrow didn't come, but another day did. It's really time, said Norris, because I want you to come to the ocean with me. Oh, okay, I'll just take my block, said Elba, surprising herself. But it's too heavy, she added, right? Oh, my butterflies and I will help you, said Norris. Oh, that's so kind of Norris. They did help. It was a very, very long journey. Elba and Norris talked and didn't talk. Oh, look at all that beauty. I miss little bird, said Elba as they crested the last hill. She is gone. I miss her too, said Norris. Elba paused. But you didn't know her. No, but you are my friend, so I can help you miss her. By the time they got to the shore, Norris knew many things about Little Bird. We watched the moon together, Elba said. She taught me to sing. We were hardly ever apart. 
She loved you so much, Nora said. Yes, said Alba as the waves crashed. Some of the butterflies started to fly out toward the horizon. Come back, shouted Elba. It's okay, said Norris. Sometimes we have to let things go. They both sat down to rest on Elba's block, but there wasn't enough room. I think it's smaller, said Elba in amazement, and lighter. Definitely, agreed Norris. Together they stood and faced the roaring sea. I'll always have this block, you know, said Elba. Yeah, maybe you will, said Norris, but I will help you carry it sometimes. <laughs> the two friends stayed by the ocean until the sun set and the view was calm. Some of the butterflies came back. Some flew off forever. The next day was sunny. Do you want to go on a picnic? Norris asked. Yes, said Elba. Oh, I'm so glad that she's starting to let go and feel cheered up. Maybe tomorrow. A beautiful reminder that friendship and kindness and empathy can help cheer us up when we're feeling blue. Until next time, boys and girls, adios amigos.